Hello, my name is Sarah Hummel, and I am a student in the Early Childhood Education Program at Colorado State University. This is my lesson plan for kindergarten math regarding shapes. Specifically, this lesson will cover Standard 4, which is shape, dimension, and geometric relationships in kindergarten. The evidence outcomes for this standard are as follows. Analyze and compare shapes in different sizes and orientations using informal language to describe their similarities, differences, and parts. Model shapes in the world by sh building shapes from components and drawing shapes. And compose simple shapes to form larger shapes. At the end of this lesson, every student will be able to identify and describe circles, rectangles, squares, and triangles in photos of buildings and construct designs out of different size shapes in a creative way. The materials for this lesson are as followed. Smartboard, pre-printed worksheets, sandpaper, glue, construction paper, and colored pencils. To begin this lesson, the teacher should take about five minutes to introduce the topic of shapes with the students during circle time. The teacher will then ask for the students to look around the room and name all of the different shapes that are in the classroom. If the class is having any difficulties with this beginning activity, the teacher may start pointing out different simple shapes in the classroom, such as the calendar, the clock, the TV, or even the circle time rug. The next part of this lesson will include direct instruction from the teacher. It will also use the smart board to incorporate technology in the classroom. On the smart board, there will be different categories for students to place each shape into. There will be several shapes for them to drag and drop into the categories. And these shapes will vary in size and in color and a number of sides that the shape has. The teacher will then explain to the students that even though shapes might look a little different, they are still the same shapes no matter the size. The class will then be asked to describe the different characteristics of each shape. The teacher should ensure that every student is able to participate in this activity. Next, students will engage in independent practice. This entails a worksheet that will include different pictures of different buildings, and students will be expected to identify different shapes in the photos with different colors. For instance, they can mark each square with the color blue, circles with the color green, triangles with the color yellow, etc. If the activity is too hard for students, they can only identify certain shapes. However, if it is too easy for students, they can start constructing a house on a separate sheet of paper with whatever colors they want, but they can only use shapes. While students are working independently on their worksheets, the teacher will pull aside either one student at a time or two students, depending on the class size and the time allowed, to work on a guided practice activity. In this activity, the teacher will already have cut out different shapes and different sizes of sandpaper. This may include triangles, rectangles, squares, circles, etc. The students will then be asked to use these pieces of sandpaper to construct their own sandcastle. They can also use the construction paper to create a background for their sandcastle. The teacher can provide scaffolding in this activity to ensure that the students are understanding how to construct new shapes out of smaller shapes. Students will then be assessed by the number of shapes that they are able to identify in an independent practice and also by their behaviors when they are constructing new shapes when making the sandcastle. To conclude this lesson, the students will sit in circle time again and they will be asked to again identify the shapes in the classroom, maybe some that they hadn't noticed before. Lastly, students will be able to vote on the smart board what their favorite shape is. This concludes my video lesson plan. Thank you for watching.